rather than put anything in here that smells, some beekeepers have, uh, well, they sell uh, bee gold and stuff that they put in the hives that you can put skateboards on that you can lay across the top and chase the bees out. So you can just take these off. And uh, I don't like using that stuff in my hive, so I'll just smoke them a little bit to calm them down and lay my inner cover down in front of the hive and just shake the bees off. They get along just fine that way. Place these in a different box so I can take them in and extract them. They're being really good considering I'm stealing their stores. Put the bees off heavy. This is good tonight. Cap's gone. Now there's a little bit there that's not capped on it on the end. But uh, as long as you figure if you've got 85% of it cap, it's gonna be down to an acceptable moisture level. You don't want to cap it if it's above 18%. Now I don't they have gadgets that uh, test the uh, refractometers is what they call them that checks the moisture level in the honey. I've never used one. I've always gone by the rule if you've got 85% or more of a cap then it's good and that's how it's been. That's pretty much how I've used it and I've never had any issue with any of my honey yet. If you shake them off on their inner cover they'll it's laying down by the entrance of their hive they'll make it back in. uncapping part. Uh, just cut just underneath the cappings just enough to open the cells up. I use an old serrated bread knife. No heat. Just slice under just like that. Just underneath the tops of it. Extract it into the capping tub. The cappings fall into the bottom of the tub. It's got a drain on it that drains out the, uh, the honey on the bottom and through another screen into a bucket. Now I've got a tangential extractor which extracts the honey from the side instead of an axial extractor which uh, you put them in like a spoke and the cells of the, of the frame aren't perfectly perpendicular to the vertical they're sloped up some so when I spin them I have to make sure I spin them so I'm throwing the honey out of the cells so I place it inside the extractor we got a few more here to do now this extractor is built large enough that I could extract deep frames in. I'm just happen to be extracting what they call Illinois supers in here. It'll extract all sizes of frames. A little slower because I got to spin one side and then spin the other side. Making sure I'm spinning it right so it's throwing all the honey out of the cells. This comb's not that old, so I have to be a little careful about how fast I spin it. First year comb is really soft, and really fragile. If I spin it too fast, I can actually blow the comb out from the weight of the honey spinning around and uh, actually destroy the comb. I like to spin it enough to get all the honey out, but not so much that I destroy the comb. I've got the plans are to use this comb next year. It saves the bees from having to use the nectar that they bring in to build new combs for honey. Then stop it. Pull the frames out. You can see the empty cells there. Missed a little spot with the uncapper. Big deal with bees to clean that out. But it's still full on the other side. So I've got to turn all of them around. Put them back in so I can spin out the honey on the other side of the frames. There we go. Both sides spun out. Here we go. So when we're done, I just drain it out of here. Drain it through this coarse strainer into the bucket. And then I just bottle it out of the bucket. Comes time to bottle it. 
that little gate valve here, loosen up just a tad. Just watch it run out into the jar. That's a good clean, honey. This doesn't get any better than that, folks. Done extracting the frames, I put them back in the super, set them back outside here. And all the colonies that I have here in my yard, most of them being the hives that I've captured as swarms or I've recovered, removed, all will come back here and clean up all the extra honey that's in the home, take it back to their hives, it helps them build up their stores in the winter. They're really not harmful. They're always worried just about feeding. You can take frames out with bees all over them. And they just want fed, that's all. They're here just for the honey. As long as I don't get in between them and their honey, they're gonna be fine. After they get it cleaned up, I'll take these supers back off, store them for the winter, and then be ready for spring to put them back on when after full season. Can I just say that there's bees cleaning honey off of their little bellies on the camera? <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Cleaning themselves. They needed a place to stop before they went home. That's spectacular. <laughs>